Well, look how amazing that looks. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because you, you know when you do it, you're gonna have to do it all by yourself. So I've not done a full day of eating for a while and my macros and calories have changed since I last did one. So I thought I'd do a full day of eating. It's about, it's just coming up to 9 a.m. now. So if you've been following me for a little bit, you'll know that I don't eat my first meal. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I always tend to um, push it back further in the day just because when I wake up, I'm never really that hungry. So I've been up since quarter to eight just having a coffee, my first coffee now, but I, what I tend to do is always have sparkling water, just because it's an appetite suppressant, and to be honest, I think it tastes better as well. I, I like the carbonation in it, so carbonated water, that is just gonna fill the stomach and decrease your appetite. So I'll probably pick up with you again when I have my first meal, which is gonna be around quarter to 11, isn't in the morning? And have some eggs, bacon, um, but yeah, it's just always something that I, I like doing because in the mornings I am the most productive as well. So I'll be editing my video, doing a few emails, just getting everything ready because next week I am actually launching my online personal training business. So I'm excited about that, but I'll catch up with you at the first meal. So I've got a quick update for the quarter zips, which we'll be releasing. 1st of July, if we have like no more problems, the 1st of July is when they'll be coming out, which I'm so excited about. So just um, told my supplier to make a few adjustments. I want the logo to be a bit more in the upper corner here. So nine centimeters down, 7.5 across. But yeah, it'll look a bit better when it's up there. Just personal preference, I think it will suit it more. And we're also gonna have um, an inner neck label as well. So yeah, 1st of July, very excited for them. All right, so I'm just about to start meal number one. I'm just gonna prep a few things, cut a few veggies up, but I thought I'd tell you my macros and calories. So 270 grams of carbs, 200 grams of protein, and 70 grams of fat. It comes up to about 2,530 calories. So I'm trying to lose a bit of fat at the minute and it's quite a big deficit for me because my maintenance is probably like 31, 3200. So I should lose quite a bit of weight on this, like on these macros. Um, I'm also doing cardio three to four times a week on the Stairmaster. Like when you've been dieting for a longer period, you kind of hit a plateau. That's where I'm at at the minute. So my weight has kind of plateaued. So I dropped my calories and added a bit of cardio in. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit tougher, especially for me because I love food, but oh well. Right, so I'm gonna have some egg whites, make an omelet, lots of veggies, some bacon. This is really good. If you're in the UK, like turkey bacon, 38 calories per slice. Let's have a look. Each rasher, eight grams of protein, each rasher. Like hardly any fat, no carbs, 38 calories. That is pretty good source of protein. So two of these and I'll have um, two slices of normal bacon just because there's only two left in that packet. And we've got some reduced fat cheese, which is also great, really high in protein. Um, veggies. So veggies, when obviously I'm on lower calories now, I try and bulk out my meals with vegetables which means basically high volume for low calorie. So you're getting a lot of food for low calorie. I've got mushrooms. What else? Some peppers and onion in there. Tomato. And yeah, should do the trick. Cook it all up now. Loads of veggies. So I actually picked up some liquid egg whites from bulk powders really good so far so i'm going to have about 150 grams 
pot, what you do as well, you just put it on the scale, tear, so zero it out, and then when you take off however many you want, put it back on, it will tell you in a minus, but that's just how many grams of egg whites you've had. So I'm going to have a big egg white omelette with all these veggies, and these are my seasonings, Himalayan pink sea salt and just some black pepper. Veggies, bacon, tomato, some reduced fat mayo, like the, the lighter, lighter than light. Four slices of the Weight Watchers, low carb bread, 64 calories per slice, which is pretty good. And I also on the two slices, I put like 12 grams of a bit of jam, reduced sugar jam. It's going to be my breakfast. Put it in my fitness pal. And what we've got is. 73 grams of protein, so very high. 65 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat. Literally no fat. So yeah, this is going to be my meal before I train. So I'm training in about 4 or 5 hours. I'll have a snack before then, but only a small snack. But yeah, should tide me over for a good few hours. I'm going to enjoy it. Looks good. Alright, so that was meal number 1. I'll probably just have a protein bar just before the gym. So I'll catch up with you when I get back from the gym later on. I'm knackered. So I did 25 minutes of cardio. Just got in, had that protein bar, carb crusher for my protein. I'm gonna have this, an Alpen Light, 70 calorie Jaffa cake bar. And I'm just gonna have a quick shower and I'm gonna make a meal, pretty big meal because I'm absolutely starving. Not eating properly like since that meal this morning, which was what, 11 o'clock. So it's about half past six now. Probably eat around half seven. So I'll show you what I get then. Just gonna have a shower. <laughs> so I'm all showered up. Right. As soon as I got back in, I was absolutely starving, like really hungry. And then for some reason, my hunger and appetite has just dropped. So I had that like Jaffa cake cereal bar. Now I'm not even hungry, but I need to eat because I've only had like that breakfast, a protein bar and that cereal bar and it's 10 past 8. So I'm going to go down and make a really nice meal and obviously by the time I've made it I'm sure I'll be a lot hungrier. Right guys, so what we're going to have is chicken as per, it's like my favourite source of lean protein. So we've got one butterfly chicken breast, fajita seasoning, some garlic pepper, some lemon juice. These two as well, black pepper and Himalayan sea salt. I'm going to have like a stir fry. So we've got some bell peppers. I think there's red onion in here. No, red pepper. I'm going to do some red onion as well. Got tomato and cucumber. Make a bit of a salad. Some piri piri hummus. Reduced fat cheese. Some mushrooms, like my favourite veg. What else have we got? And some rice. So we're going to make like a rice salad bowl type of burrito bowl style thing. Um, quite a bit of volume because I've not eaten since... Well, I had that snack dinner, but I've not had a proper meal since this morning. So it's going to be a nice big bowl. I'm going to have a dessert, maybe some like protein yoghurt with like lots of fruit to curb some cravings. But yeah, my hunger's kicked in now. I'm pretty hungry. It always happens when I see food and I'm just about to start making it, so I'm gonna cook this up. Right, so this is the second biggest meal of the day. We've got 
on chicken breast, some veggies, rice, added a little bit of the piri piri hummus. We've got cucumber tomato. Probably use a bit of this, just like 20 grams. Yeah, my hunger's really kicked in now. So I'm gonna tuck into this, I'll tell you my macros after the meal, and then I'm gonna get a dessert as well. All right, so that was so nice. I'm really full, well not really full, but pretty full. And I've only had 1500 calories for the day, so this really isn't like me. I'm usually always hungry, but what time is it now? So it's just gone half past nine. I'm gonna have myself a bit of a dessert. I'm gonna have to get the calories in pretty quick because I don't wanna be going to bed too late. So that toast I had this morning, this is what the packaging looks like. Thick whole meal, really low calorie, 64 cows per slice. I'm gonna have two slices of that. Maybe with some peanut butter on it. And maybe with some of that reduced sugar jam. Maybe. Um, some butter, yeah. And I'm gonna have my protein yogurt bowl as like a dessert as well. So, there's these like yogurt pots that have been getting Danone, Danone light and free. 58 calories per pot. They do loads of different flavors. These are berry flavor. They do like vanilla, lemon, strawberry, raspberry. I'm gonna have that with some apple, high brown, bit of stuff like that. And then I might make oats later as well. Right guys, so this is the dessert. We've got three slices of that bread, toasted with some butter, reduced sugar, apricot jam. I also put um, a little bit of bounty spread, like five grams because I've got loads of fats left. And we've got this yogurt bowl. So two pots of that yogurt, 20 grams of high brown, 135 grams of pink lady apple, my favorite apple, 40 grams of blueberries, 10 grams of chocolate chips, and a little bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna tuck into this, watch a few, or watch a YouTube video. And I think I'm gonna have one more meal. And that's gonna end my day. What are my macros? I'm gonna put it in my fitness pal and I'll let you know in a sec. All right guys, so after that meal, the macros are currently standing at 184 grams of protein, pretty high after all that. <clears throat> 238 grams of carbs and 46 grams of fat, 31 grams of fiber as well. So I do tend to go for between 30 and 40 grams of fiber per day. Higher fiber, obviously gonna help you with digestion and stuff. But, yeah, my fats are pretty low today, so I've got one more meal left. I might be going over a little bit on, on carbs and going under on fats, just because my fats are pretty low for the day, so I might keep them like that. But yeah, pretty happy with how my diet's been so far today, but yeah. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe if you are new. Right guys, so finishing off the macros with oats. Oats are a staple when I'm on a diet just because they're quite filling and they've got quite a bit of fibre in so they do fill you up. A nice dessert before bed, even though I'm not really that hungry, to be honest. Right, pro tip if you wanna make more volume. Um, put it, put like, I'm having 50 grams of oats. I use unsweetened almond milk, so I have 200 ml of that, mix it all together, put it in the microwave for like two and a half minutes, bring it out, stir it again, and then add a bit more water to it, just like normal water, put it back in the microwave for another minute, it's a minute and a half, and it should be like nice and done, nice and thick, and then you can put your toppings on, so these are the toppings that I've got. We've got some zero calorie syrup, some my protein, peanut butter, and I'm gonna be having some chocolate chips as well. Wherever they are, yeah. 15 or 20 grams of these, depending on how generous I'm feeling. Right guys, so here is the last meal. We have got 50 grams of oats, 20 grams of peanut butter. Look how amazing that looks. 15 grams of chocolate chips, some sugar-free syrup. I'm gonna tuck into this and I've also got like my decaf coffee with some almond milk in there, like hardly any calories. So that is gonna conclude today's full day of eating. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've taken a few tips away from it as to what my diet is like, what I eat. To be honest, I need to, I think I need to eat less protein at my breakfast because I just had way too much protein for my breakfast, which made it harder for the rest of the day. Usually I wouldn't eat this close together late at night, like so. It's a bit of a weird one, but this is what my day has consisted of, so I thought I'd show you. We've had 198 grams of protein, 281 grams of carbs, 67 grams of fat. So I've gone over on carbs, but I'm under on fats and protein. So it evens itself out. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, hit that thumbs up button because it's going to help me out a lot. Also, one more thing. So, in a, the 20th of June, which is this coming Monday, I'm launching my actual online personal training business. So, I've, I do have a few clients already, but I've never really announced it to anyone. So, I've got fitness guides and free workout plans and stuff on my website already. But I'm actually releasing or I'm going to start doing online coaching. So if you do want any like tailored, personalized nutrition plans, meal plans, training plans suited just for your needs, like not generic or anything, um, or online coaching, then I will be making it happen. So 20th of June, this coming Monday. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes out for that. I'll catch you on the next video. There's a couple more coming this week, so. See you in a bit, guys. Hope you all have a good week.